Boom, and welcome back. A wild sauce appeared, and I was talking about how much I disliked Gen 4 when it first came out. I still have a few grievances, but I'll, I'll explain further. I'll, I'll dictate my, my complaints. Like, Low Punny was, was a neat addition, I'll give it that. I, I kind of felt like it was a replacement for Mankey. Because it's like, we got a fight, fighting monkey that has two evolutions. How about a, uh, how about a bunny that also has two evolutions? That's just fucking normal. Except this time we'll change it into normal type. I don't know. And, and that's a small complaint that I have. And of course there's, there are all these Pokemon that I feel like should have been... Okay, there are a lot of item evolutions. Particularly Miss Magus and Haunch Crow, I get annoyed with simply because of the requirements to to use a specific item for them. Why can't it just be stones? Why can't you just put a dark stone on Miss Magus and a dark stone on ha Haunch Crow? Like they're both the same. They're still the same Pokemon type. Like, do we really need another another like metal coat? I hated the Metal Coat when it came out. I hate these Pokemon that you need to equip stuff to, to get them to evolve. It's annoying. It's the equivalent of the trade Pokemon to evolve. Like, they still haven't, like, corrected that shit. And yeah, I feel like it, it should be considered a corrective thing. Because, you know, oh, and here comes uh, the Big Bad, I mean, Big Bad or a Hero. Hmm. Shit, damn! Oh wait, did I miss? Did I miss? No, no, there he is. He's coming. Aw, oh, dang. Poke accent evolves. <laughs> why, why did he say that out loud? A loud. Uh, yeah, okay, yeah, I missed, I missed the, the man. My mistake. I was looking down at Haunt Crow and Miss Mages getting really annoyed up in their shit. And yeah, I feel like it should be a corrected thing. It should be fixed so that we can get any Pokemon on our own without having to trade. A Pokemon Master shouldn't have to be a Master to trade. Shouldn't need to trade in order to become a Master. Yeah, whatever the fuck a Pokemon a Master is now, right? Ugh, excuse me. And, uh... Going on to Pur Ugly and Glammeow. Glammeow, uh, th like, that's just a replacement for Skitty and Delcaddy to me. Like, it's it's an alternative to them. Like, I I just don't get the appeal of them. Of course, there's Chingling. Does Chingling get, uh... Yeah, why, why is Chingling by itself in this? Weird. Could have sworn that, yeah... Oh, it's a baby form of, of, of a fucking, did I just say their name? Of Chimeco. I did not say their name, thank god. I'm not entirely crazy just yet. Um, we, I, it's a baby form, and I'm on Johnny's side now. Oh, who are we getting? Hey! It's, I love this sprite. I love this sprite so much. Just because I love the stink guy on Starly's face. It's like, oh, oh, you wanna do that? You wanna fight? It's so adorable. It's it's really cute and it's like look it looks like a it looks like a fucking asshole. God. And of course, like it tacks on Bonsly, Mime Jr., Happiny. And, you know, it, it's so obnoxious the way that works. Like, all the baby Pokemon. I, I, Johnny finally convinced me. I'm sick of basic baby Pokemon that are just chibi that, you know, are more of an inconvenience to fill up your decks that don't have that great of stats. And so from a game standpoint, they aren't good. Like, you're more than welcome to introduce standard, like, introduce new like trees with less uh, uh with baby type forms you know because then they're just the base form but reducing but going backwards on the evolutionary tree 
from a design standpoint, it's fine, but from a game standpoint, it's just inconvenience. You know, you've just got another Pokemon with stats that are sliced. And, like, okay, let, let, let me go in here. I, I like Garchomp. It, it feels like... Uh, again, I, I know I'm becoming a broken record by discussing, like, ah, oh, it's just a replacement for this. But, you know, hear me out. Like, fucking Garchomp, like, it's your standard, like, tr triple dragon combo. You know what I mean? Like, it's meant to fill that gap, that fucking, um, that, uh, 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 one of my Salamence is, suppo is supposed to take, and before him... Well, actually, there wasn't one before him. So, and you know, Salamence was supposed to be a replacement for Dragonite. Oh, wait. Salamence... Uh, hold on. Hold up. Hey, okay, good, good, good. I was going to say... Wait, is... Where is Hydrageddon? Uh... I can't find it right now. I'll find it later. But okay. So, a Munch Lax, again, why did it need that baby evolution? It didn't. And the inconvenient way you get it by just like equipping, equipping and then putting it into a fucking nursery? Get out! Get out of town with that shit, man. So lame. So inconvenient. Like, okay, let's see. Mantike! Fucking shit. Obama Snow's cool. I like Obama Snow. And more equip evolutions. Here we go. Licky Licky. Uh, Rhyperior. And fucking, I don't care for Rhyperior. I think it's, I think it looks shitty, like, as from a design perspective. I know it's superior statted to, uh, to Rhydon. And maybe, maybe Rhydon needed a stat boost. But, Rhyperior is just ugly. To me, the clashing, like, orange on top of the gray is just such a step backward from the initial design. And, you know, Rhydon was one of the first Pokemon designed. I think he was the first. Hey, you just do this with it. And then Tangrowth. Tangrowth, I could like. Because it required, because it's a level up. It's a level up, and of course the shiny is green because it's t it, it's supposed to be like a vines. So yeah, I can appreciate Tangrowth, Electrovire, another fucking step back in the design department. Like, why does Electabuzz's head keep getting flatter? Why does he suddenly have two tails? Why, why are his eyes suddenly red? And I, I, I'm trying to figure it out. Why are his fingers now black? I, I mean, maybe that's just a petty thing, but to me, I'd say that it looks, it looks like a, a replacement for Swamper. It looks like Swamper as an electric type. Plus, I don't care for like the top little like antennae on top of the head. For for Electabuzz, I liked it because you know it had the little other like, center antennae to, you know, spruce that up. But now it's just glaring, because that, whatever happened to that, it got sliced off in the evolution, that center, uh, the center growth. I, I think it's just supposed to be, like, like, cowlicks, but I digress. Magmordar, another trade Pokemon, and to me, another step back. I mean, let's talk, like, real, ma um, Magmar didn't have a great design from the get-go, but Ma Magmortar is just creepy to me. I, I guess I can appreciate the cannons, but the weird way that the, like, the weird way that his legs are sort of on the side of him, that makes sense? Like, Magmortar's side legs just, it looks like it's supposed to be a quadruped more than a biped because you know our legs aren't on the sides our arms are on the sides that's why we we can't walk very far on our hands is because we evolved to 
have legs that are effectively underneath our torso. And that, ma and that makes a huge difference when it comes to, like, bipedal walking. This thing will have to just very... This thing will have to lumber to walk. It's... It's the opposite of... It's, it's an inconvenient evolution. At least with uh, Magmar, you can see where the legs are supposed to be. Like, you can visualize it, like, it's... It's weight being supported on those legs. But you can't with Magmortar. Togekiss is a nice bit because they introduced the shiny stone. I'm a sucker for stones because they're one use item, straightforward. You can pick them up. I like Togekiss. Plus, I think that, like, I don't know, like, it's, it's not the greatest Pokemon. It was in my main party at one point. But, um, in fact, no, no, it's not my main party right now. Uh, but, yeah, Togekiss is a, sol is a solid enough Pokemon, only because it actually applies to the, use, uh, the one use, like, stones. If it was a held item or a trade Pokemon, I'd be annoyed with it. But, you know, I can forgive it because it's got some nice stats on it. It looks like a genuine evolution from, uh, from, uh, from Togetic because Togetic's body is like this weird bean shape. Its wings shouldn't be able to support itself. And its little nubs, like, you can just see the nubs ultimately being, uh, being, um, like, being eventually, like, evolved to the point of just going back into the going back into the body like and, and there's even like a little space indicating that they may still be there like if you look at like regular at, at like the typical like toga kiss design you'll be able to see like this little slit under the pit of the of the wing and either that's a wing support which it might be but more more in particular is that there that could be where the arms used to be you know it's sort of like those lizards that I had those snakes that evolved from lizards that have the little like that have little uh, stubs on the end of them and you know it's it's, it's sort of like uh, so I don't know it's sort of like the inverse from going from a tadpole to a frog I guess is what I'm trying to say I don't know I just like Togekiss for that reason. Yon Mega makes sense. And it only requires a level up, thank heavens. But no, Yon, uh, Yon Mega is a good choice. Why they didn't make it a Mega Evolution? Maybe it's because they didn't think about that. I do appreciate that they tacked on more to the to the Evolution uh, tree. Ah, oh, and I caught my first Pokemon! And it's a shitty fucking Cricketot. God, I hate Cricketot. Like, at first I was optimistic about it, but I can't rem- I didn't remember. I can barely remember Cricketune. Like, <laughs> I forgot that it had an evolution, to be frank. Look, over here, the sprite's normal. Like, I can appreciate the effort they took into designing the sprites, but they did not bother doing the rest with this game. It, it, it sort of made me wonder why they did it. And now I'm going to start using, like, stand names. So these guys are... Uh, so Cricketot is the Beatles. It's a shame that I'll be ditching him soon. Uh, yeah, it'll be a while, though. I still haven't, technically, as far as the gameplay is concerned. But I will. Mark my words. But yeah, more... more le and more EV... and more evolutions are, are good. Gliscor is a nice touch. Like, why can't you just keep doing the level up systems with, with that? You know, Mamoswine, Mamoswine is a tricky one, because, okay, like, I fucking love the design. I fucking love Mamoswine, dude. And so with that in mind, though, like, you have to level it up in a specific area, if I remember correctly. I, I wish this, this, uh, evolution would, uh, I wish that the evolution thing would uh, would entail as to how it levels up. I believe it's in a specific area. 
In fact, I dare say that's the same with Gliscor. Ah, uh, if that's the case, that that then that's my big issue. That's a big problem for me personally. It's just the uh, hey, you gotta pick out this one specific area in every single region to just get everything going. And Porygon Z, let's talk about Porygon Z. Hey look, it's another trade! It's not a fucking trade, that thing that we're always sick of. You know, Gallade's a nice touch. Oh, uh, wow. Sorry folks, this, this episode's done. Stay tuned. Haha! <laughs> Nobody knows the trouble I've seen. Nobody knows my sorrow.